Hi curl friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm naturally Shanice and guess what? Today I'm gonna go get a haircut and of course I'm taking it with me. All right, I have not had a haircut since about December of 2022 when I got my hair straightened and Jada cut my hair before. So today I am going back to Hazel O Salon and if you aren't familiar with Hazel O Salon, I actually been there several times. I think I have one or two videos. I'll put the link in the description or up here for you if you wanna watch those previous videos but yeah I'm headed back to Hazel O Salon to get a haircut because it's about that time wait until you see the inside of Hazel O Salon it is absolutely gorgeous so if you are an aesthetics girly you're in for a really big treat so get into the actual aesthetics of the salon like I love it here it's so relaxing it's absolutely beautiful inside plants I love the brick walls so nice so nice and luxurious y'all get into this I'm in here just walking around like you guys okay this is my stylist for today what's your name stylist I heard that Cut. And I said cut in style. This is your natural No. Okay. This is a twist out. I literally just did this the other day for um, just because my hair was looking raggedy. So I need it. I know for a fact I need a cut. I have like all of these, and it's just getting real like tangled in here. It's like to me, it's like a little bit dry. The product's not coming on, and I need shape. Like, I feel like this is out of control. Like, I want to have a round, a round, nice shape. Does that make sense? I'm just noticing, like, it's like this. I just like don't like the way it's painting. Like, it has a hole on your yes, face. Yes, yes. It's not. Got it. Like, it's I don't like the way my hair is painting. I just want a nice, like, like I want a nice shape, too. Does that make sense? And fresh curls. How far are these from your natural? They're, to me, they're, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't cut it like this. I, something said, I said, I'm gonna come in here with this hair, I knew it. I said, she's gonna be like, can we just cut your hair? And I'm like, no, I don't think that. Okay. I don't think we can. Okay, let's get into this cleanse. So, of course, Kier starts off by shampooing my hair. She makes sure that my hair is completely saturated before applying the shampoo. Now, listen. It felt so good to have my hair washed by somebody else. Like that is a luxury within itself that I need to do more often. Anyhow, you'll notice here that Kiara is washing my scalp and she's using her fingers to finger detangle instead of using a comb. On the left side of the screen, notice how Kiara is taking her time to finger detangle my hair as well as smoothing the hair down in a downward motion. You can get a close up right here in a slow mo. All right, so now what are we about to do? So we're going to cocktail our first few products. A few pumps. Mm -hmm. And we are styling before we do the cut, right? Yes. Okay. Why cocktail instead of individually doing it? I feel like you get each part of your hair. Like every piece of your hair is saturated this mm -hmm. way. So sometimes we can do it in the shower and we miss sections. Mm -hmm. so this is kind of foolproof. Mm -hmm. And it must save a little bit more time Definitely too, more right? Time Instead of just. Um, so sometimes when we put it in the shower, which is not wrong, mm -hmm. um, we just miss because our arms get tired, right? So when we're in the mirror and we section our hair out and put the product in, we can evenly saturate our hair going up and down, and we can take the time to smooth things or add more. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can calculate how much product you're using so you can get the same result each time. So I used about 10 pumps of this and about a gentle squeeze of this in here. 10 pumps of, Uncle this Funkies. is Uncle Funky's Starter Curly Magic. This to me is just a staple that 
we all should just have in our um, it's the in primer, our drawers, right? right? It really is a primer. Yeah. This is more of like um, a topper, mm -hmm. so it's going to give that hair a bit of softness. Mm -hmm. And then the Inner Sense Foam is going to give our hair that nice hold that's mm -hmm. going to last because wash washing goes last those extra few days. Mm -hmm. So the mix, the cocktail of these products right here, bam, y'all look at that. Okay, those are close-ups. This Trepador Curl Therapy Bomb, I'm not even going to hold you on that. Here is the cocktail, one-stop shop right there. And the only thing not included is the Innersense styling foam because I believe we're gonna place this on the hair first and then finish off everything with the Innersense. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. The parts stay. I'm like, okay, should I like do it differently? Because it knows exactly how I'm gonna section out my hair. Okay. Kira starts by applying the product mix in the back of my hair, and she's gonna work her way all the way up to the front. Notice that she's smoothing out the hair with her fingers, laying it down. Then she grabs the three uh, row comb to detangle it and further smooth it. And then she's taking her fingers and wrapping it around the hair to finger coil. Y'all see those ends hanging for dear life? Oh my God. Ooh. Look at those ends. Oh, I can't wait to cut. That was bothering me. The straight pieces. Ooh, Lord. Good day. Is that the three thing comb? Mm -hmm. It is a time saver. A time saver and a true game changer. Okay. Do you guys sell that here? Or you just have one online? I should open an Amazon storefront the way so many people ask for it. You should. <laughs> but yeah, it's Now that my hair is completely dry, well not completely because you're going to see that Kiara is going to grab her Dyson blow dryer and she's going to make sure that my hair is completely dry in the center because it was not. That's why she's going through right now and just finishing up because it's important to know that each and every curl is dry, especially since she's going to go through and cut each curl individually. The major benefit to cutting naturally curly hair dry is that it allows the stylist to see how the hair would fall as if you're styling it at home. That's why Kiara let it dry, she put products in it, and now we're cutting it. When your hair is wet, it's stretchier, so the length may vary a little from when it's dry. Again, this is another advantage to cutting your hair dry because you're going to not have the shrinkage that comes with cutting it wet. Not as higher quality, but we can get into it anyway. So what are we doing? We're just shaping. So we're doing a perimeter cut right now. Mm -hmm. so that'll be our our guide mm -hmm. for the rest of the shape and the layering. Mm -hmm. And we're just cutting what needs to be cut for those. I already see the shape. Look, right there. Y'all see this? Right here. Y'all see it? Oh my gosh. I already see it. So good. Yeah. Oh, there it is. See, that's what I need. This, listen, I'm telling you, like, I need some structure. Look at that. Do y'all see that? I already see it. All right here. So much better. Yes. This in here did that shape. Look at 
Listen, I'm trying to record. Okay, Kiara over here messing up. Okay, look. Listen, I cut. This is the final cut. I love the shape through here. Because it was like kind of hanging. This is so much better. Nice and clean. Yes. Yes. Color is vibrant. Yes. Love to see it. Okay.